For seniors who live here, Harbor Landing Village is a hive of activity. 73-year-old Jan Gable leaves her private apartment with a packed schedule. Four. One, two, three. The retired nurse finds it invigorating. Now, 10 more. There's so many opportunities of trying new things, learning new things. I made a lot of really good friends here. She's not the only one who feels that way. We sat down with three seniors who are anything but lonely or bored. There's everything to do if you want to do it. Jan mentioned, uh, you know, you've got to get out and get at it. That's a choice you make in your head if you choose to be miserable. This four-story building is home to a for-profit seniors residence. The second floor is a licensed nursing home for 35 seniors, and another 40 seniors have assisted living apartments. Then there's a daycare, hair salon, coffee shop, and restaurant. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. But when the pandemic started, almost everything was shut down to the outside world with one goal. Make this the best fortress that we could, right? So that meant making some tough decisions around who was allowed into the building. Nearly a year later, still no cases of COVID-19. How's it going? CEO Jansen Anderson credits a combination of visitor restrictions, screening and sanitation, as well as vigilant employees who only work here. You know, endurance is a huge part of this, right? It is a mega marathon on steroids. What has not shut down are activities and socializing. <laughs> we did try and find a balance, you know, between resident safety from, you know, COVID-19 and their mental and physical health. So for us, you know, we didn't want to see our residents, you know, locked in their rooms. Every day I try to think about the things for. Retired grade one teacher Lee Eisler isn't allowed to visit the daycare children anymore, but she still reads to them. I've always loved being around children, so it's a great way to spend my year. 82-year-old Jim Nettlecove was living alone in a condo when the pandemic started, so he decided to move into Harbor Landing Village in August. When you wake up in the morning, you've got to have something to do. Stimulation and a sense of safety have resulted in a sense of satisfaction, to the point these three didn't feel any urgency to get the vaccine. It didn't bother me one way or another. You weren't doing cartwheels and saying, yes, I'm vaccinated. No, it was just another event, another half hour in my day. If I could have, I would have said, no, I don't want that vaccination. I want to give it to the teacher or I want to give it to one of the... Um, healthcare professionals. We're in a safe place where we're well looked after, so I don't think we really have anything we, we should be complaining about. <laughs> beautiful. Almost everyone in the building has now had at least one dose of vaccine. They're each allowed two visitors separated by plexiglass. But there are no immediate plans to ease more rules and no real pressure from some residents to do so. And up to the sky. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.